Hello, tenors. This is sight reading number four, key of G. We're in the treble clef, but we're in the tenor treble clef, so you can see that little eight below the treble clef. That means that we read our notes in the treble clef like they're up here. But we're gonna sing them down here. Okay, this is in a little funky range for me. Seventh grade tenor, this will be easy for you. Eighth grade tenor, some of you are still in that moving range, so it may be a jump for you as well to switch back and forth between your head voice and your chest voice which is good, you should do so. It does get up to high one, as you can see there on the third line, but only for a little bit. I would recommend singing that in your head voice or false. Here we go, friends. Let's sing a scale first and a pitch slider, and then we will sight read together. Here we go. Scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, one, seven, Letter. One, three, five, one, five, three, one, five, one. Eighth grade tenors, you should have that low five. Maybe a one or two of you seventh grade tenors might have that low five, but most probably do not have it yet. But that's okay because today's sight reading does not go to low five. Here we go, my friends. Put your thumb on one if you're a piano player and play this with me. Otherwise, tap a beat, everybody else, and let's sing together. <clears throat> Sight reading number four, tenor, key of G. One, two, and ready, and sing. One, three, three, two, one, three, five, four, three, two, one, three, five, six, seven, one, one, seven, six, five, one, two, one, three, four, five. One, two, one, one. I had to do some real flip-flopping. Sometimes I sang that five in my chest voice. Sometimes I sang it in my head voice. It just depends. It depended on where I was coming in from that no is why I made that choice. So, for example, I made the choice to stay in chest voice on the second measure. One, three, five, four, three, because I knew I was going right back down, so I was like, oh, I can make that. But I knew that I would wanted to switch at the five on that next part, because six, seven, and high one were definitely going to be falsetto. So I switched at five. Five, six, seven, one. One of the things you got to know as a tenor is, you got to, it's kind of like the gambler, no one to hold them, no one to fold them. You need to know when you should switch and when you shouldn't switch. And that all depends on kind of what's coming up. Is what's coming up going to be higher? Well, then you probably should go ahead and switch at the five then. If what's coming up is going to go down lower, then maybe try to stay in your chest voice and stretch that way. But like I've always said, your voice is like a fingerprint and everybody's is different. So you make that choice on your own, what feels best for your voice. All right, tenors, try to practice that one more time with me and then see if you can do it by yourselves. And uh, don't forget to log it on your activity log. Have a great day, guys.